Hello, this is Pete. Welcome to episode 10 of the EmpowerCast iWork series, Keynote for Beginners. In episode 10, we cover charts. So let's have a look at the theme chooser here in Keynote and just jump right in with a theme. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the white theme, pick my slide size, and then click choose. First thing I always do when starting my project is make sure I have the zoom pull down menu on fit in window. And that guarantees that I can see the entire slide and none of my canvas is being cut off by window size. Cool. Now I'm just going to get rid of the text boxes that come by default in this particular theme and go up to the charts pull down and to get started pull down charts and just choose this bar graph. Notice the charts pull down is divided into two columns. The left column is a 2D column and the right column is a 3D column. So I'm going to start with a 2D bar graph here and you can see I get the 2D chart on my canvas and the little chart data editor which has all my chart info on there. So I can click the chart to select it and it moves around like an object. I can also grab the chart legend and move that around as its own specific object. And using the resize handle on either side of the chart legend allows me to shrink it down and when I get it small enough it'll even stack the legend so it's vertical instead of horizontal. If I wanted to move that around over to here. Now the chart can be positioned anywhere on the canvas that I'd like as well as the legend and the charts totally resizable and it all scales proportionately so if I grab the resize handle here and scrunch the chart down notice it keeps my spacing intact and proportionately shrinks the width of the columns so it looks good really no matter how thin I make it for my presentation it might work better as a tall thin chart over to the left here no problem. I'm going to spread that back out and grab the bottom resize handle and move it up. And you see it proportionately scales in case I need a short wide chart on my canvas. Now charts when you create them in a particular theme like we have, we chose the white theme, they give you a chart that's tailor made for that theme or in other words most closely matches with that theme. Choosing a different theme for this particular slide will also change the look of the chart. So if I go up to themes in my toolbar and pull down the themes menu, I get the same theme chooser we saw when we first started. And I can choose from any of the themes to change the theme of this particular slide. The thing to keep in mind is you're not just changing the theme of the chart, you're changing the theme of this entire slide. So if I come down here and change it to harmony, you can see that the slide has an all new background and the color of the chart has changed to best match the theme. Let's go through a couple of others. Typeset, I choose that. The entire slide is changed to the typeset theme. Again, under themes, we'll try industrial. Changing the theme of a slide can be done anytime in your project. In fact, choosing a theme in the beginning of your project doesn't mean you have to stick with it. You can have a keynote presentation with 20 different themes on your different slides if that's how you want it. Themes can be changed anytime, but keep in mind you're changing the theme of that entire slide. Changing a chart from 2D to 3D can easily be done anytime as well. If I click on the chart, I get the Charts Inspector. And to get to the Charts Inspector, I just look in the Inspector along the tabs at the top and click on the one with the icon of a chart. In the Charts Inspector, I have three tabs. Chart, axis and series. We'll get into some of those options later but for now to change the chart from 2D to 3D I just use this pull down menu to pull down and change that chart. So I'll just go over here to one of these 3D ones, click it, and you see the chart now stayed with the theme but changed to 3D. So let's try changing to another theme while we have a 3D chart. I'll go down here to vellum. See applying the vellum theme to the slide gives us this nice graph paper background and nice wood texture on the chart. So applying different themes can get you some pretty cool results with these charts. Notice with the chart selected in 3D mode in the chart inspector, I get sort of a little trackball. There's also a floating trackball heads up display here as well. 
if I grab the center of that trackball, I can move it around and it corresponds with the 3D perspective of the chart. And if I only want to rotate on a particular axis, I can start over here on the arrowhead and move just right to left or just up and down. So this combined with resizing the chart and changing the perspective of the chart gives you a powerful way to lay out your keynote presentation. Now the data on the chart is easily edited by simply changing the numbers here in the chart data editor. So by default it gives me a region 1 and a region 2 and it gives me four years of data. So I can easily change the legend here where it says region 1 and region 2 just by double clicking. So I'll change that and we'll call this one Coke and head over to region 2 and rename that Pepsi. Now we've got years here, 2007 through 2010, and we can imagine that this data here is how many votes Coke got for Cola of the Year and how many votes Pepsi got for Cola of the Year in those particular years. Now we can also change the row versus column plotting of a chart using this little icon in the chart data editor. Clicking that pivots the data so either the column can be your series or the row can be your series. Notice when I click to pivot, I get the two groups, Coke and Pepsi, and they're same statistics, just laid out in a different way. Now, these colors in this chart aren't really great for Coke and Pepsi. These look more like lumber. So I want to change these colors to Coke and Pepsi type of colors. Now, if you haven't already watched the EmpowerCast iWork series on color fills, I recommend you check those out and take a look at the really incredible ways that OS X offers up colors in the colors inspector. Now I'm just going to open my colors inspector and look for a color that better represents Pepsi. I think this blue here does a good job of that. When I find the color that I want, I click on it to load it into the active swatch. So you see here this rectangle, it's loaded into the active swatch. Now I can grab that active swatch, drag it, and drop it right on top of one of my series. So since Pepsi is the darker one, I'm going to drag it, drop it right on top of here, and notice all of Pepsi has now changed to blue. For Coke, we'll use red. So I'll click on the color to load my swatch, and then just drag that and drop that on top of the lighter of the two. Notice now Coke and Pepsi are red and blue, and their colors in the chart data editor have changed, and the legend has changed to reflect the new color choices. Now it's never too late to change the theme. I can head up to the theme chooser, pull down and go to typeset, and you see now that the theme of the slide has changed. However, my custom color choices have overridden the theme of the slide. So my chart stays my color and the slide's theme changes. Now we can even take that effect a bit further. I happen to have some small images of Coke and Pepsi cans on my desktop. And I just found those using Google Images. I can grab the Pepsi can and further customize this by dragging the Pepsi can and making sure I drop it on top of the blue column or the blue bar. See now it's used my Pepsi graphic as the bar. I can do the same with the Coke can and drop it onto the red. And you see I've now got 3D Coke and Pepsi as the graphic for my bar graph. Back to the chart inspector for my little trackball to even change the orientation. And I didn't spend much time thinking about these graphics, but I would imagine that if you find some graphics that really go well with your theme, you can achieve a highly customized design. You can be very creative working with 3D charts. Selecting your chart and going to the chart inspector to change it to a different style, like maybe a pie graph for this. I can grab any of these wedges individually by clicking on them and then just moving them apart to create a dramatic effect for that chart. And I can still grab graphics from whatever source, drag them in, and use those graphics to color the 3D wedges of the chart. Some of them work better than others, but I'm sure if you spent some time finding the right graphics, they would work well for you. This is Pete. I want to thank you for tuning in to the EmpowerCast iWork series. Keynote for Beginners, using charts in your slide. Again, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.